proudly brought to you by iCheck TPMS. Alright guys, welcome back to another episode with Just Vanning It. We're picking up from last week. We've arrived at James Price Point. <laughs> Looks like I'm up for a little walk. Here we go guys, James Price Point. So, we've come down this, um, it's quite a steep entry. It's not too steep, but I just four-wheel drive low range anyway coming down there. We come into this massive flat paddock here. And look at the spot. So, we reckon there's a spot just in front of that van over there, but we've got to figure out how we get around all of this like there's a few roads going around here let's go and have a look come on what do you think of the spot oh i think it's beautiful look hey? at that red hey look at the red it's just amazing That's that good. road last week coming in is it's, it's worth it you just got to drive to conditions like we always say the road was pretty bad to be fair but anyway let's go and have a look um if we can get down here yeah, i'm just there's a spot there yeah it's not really level Let's have a look. There's a little bit of whining and going on here, but have a go at this. And I'm thinking we should actually try and park quite up nice up on the cliffs if you want to be on the water. I'm pretty easy. Holy dooly. Okay, well, I'll come through here. Yep. Looks like that's okay. There's a little bit of up and down. Oh, I don't know about that up and down there. Hang on, let me just double check. It's always good to get out and double check, guys. If you're not, if you're unknown to the area. Oh, we can go. That's a bit. I don't know about this. This is a bit. This is a bit how you go. And look at this corner. This corner here, and then you've got the van tipping this way. Not real good. So we'll go around this way. And once we get there, Sue, I reckon we'll make a call here. Yeah? Oh, he's going wide. He good. Oh man. Hey, how good is this? Look at that. We have found the rock pool, baby. One so, deep enough to float in. Hey, Bob. Oh, yeah, oh, Bob. boys. Oh, hi. Well, I yeah. was floating. <laughs> Water's gone all the way out. Last night, that water was lapping up, not at the van, but just there where those black rocks are. So it just shows you how much water comes in. I mean, look at that over there. Oh, the sun. Disclaimer, huh? I was floating. And saw a little torpedo over here swim on top of me and sunk me. He's not the best swimmer. Are you, Bobby? <laughs> Love. What was that? Not elegant. <laughs> oh, watch out for Bob. He's not happy. Slowly, buddy. No. Oh, come this way. Come on. Come on, little mountain guy. Oh, you got stuck there now, love. He's all Come right. Buddy. You're all right. Slow down. Come on. Slow down, bro. Slow down. He wants you to go, share my sweet. He's not happy. Oh, wait for dad. I want to do the silly seven. You're playing your cards with your queen of hearts. When everyone folds your forge to holes. You're placing your bed, showing no regret. Close your eyes to hide your lies. Roll the dice. Yes. Nothing That's better a... than a crock-free waterhole. 
That's, that's what I um, say. definitely one way to cool off. Today was 31 degrees and yeah. absolutely piping hot. But I've got to say that while working in the van, it's such a nice breeze. It's just a little breeze. And I, so if you could just hear it on the camera, but that's actually keeping us cool. Just a tickle. Otherwise, I think we'd be in a bit of, bit of trouble. I mean, we can run the aircon if we wanted to, but try and preserve the power. Oh, there's lots of crabs here. Look, oh. ready? Oh. Oh, look at him. Hey, 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 hey. how you going, mate? My Hi, name's Derek. Okay, right. doesn't get him. Where is he? Bobby, come. Let's go. This way, buddy. Let's go. Well, our van's back over there. And we're just going to start walking. The rocks aren't too slippery, funny enough. There was only one section. But, um, yeah. What a oh, top spot. Oh, slowly, buddy. It's a top spot, this. Okay, guys. We are super excited to be at, um, James Price Point. This is not quite James Price Point. James, James Price Point is 800 meters up the road. We actually took a drive there and thank goodness we didn't go there. There's only about eight sites there. But if you come 800 meters more north, you come down that steeper hill and you get to this absolute min spot. Now look, the beach is not great because it's the tide has gone out and it's fairly rocky now. So that's okay. But because we parked our caravan close to this fire pit in front of me here to try and get it more level, the fire pit's in the wrong place, right? So I'm going to move these rocks and I'm going to base the fire pit just over there. So we're going to get cracked into that. Um, we've got a lot of nice little fire. We've got a nice snack pattern going and we're going to make some, some um, well, or at least my favourite um, cocktail. So let's jump straight into it. Look what I have produced here. Have you recovered? I've recovered. That looks well, like hard work. It's not hard work, but it looks a lot better and it's further away from the from the fire. So I'm going to go and clean myself up a bit because um, this red dirt, dirt gets on you and you look, you it stains you. <laughs> and then I'm going to make myself a very nice special drink. It's that time of the day, baby. Got bulk going on over here. So, Mr. Daiquiri. We love our strawberry daiquiris. So, um, we've had to go out and buy a new uh, blender. Other one. Pooped it. Pooped it. It was it was a few years old. It was about eight years old. All right. She so, what's well. the um, what's the uh? All right. Give yourself um, I'd say one ice block. One ice block in there. All right. You want hundred and twenty mils of that. So that's that's two of those measures. That's still um, that vodka from um, the hemp distilled thing down in, um, where was it? Denmark, I think. There'll be just enough. Just enough for two drinks today. One drink. Ooh, not even. That's all right. Righto. That's all we got. All right. Then you want... We're on the, the, on the penny watcher. You want 30 mils of your, what do you call this? That's sugar syrup. Um, sugar, sugar, sugar syrup so stuff. That's half of that. Half of your strawberry sli frozen slices in. Half oh, this. Two hundred and fifty oh. grams. Two hundred and fifty grams of strawberries, people. Frozen strawberries. Frozen strawberries. Yep, yep. Half of that, eh? I and think that's there or thereabouts. Sixty grams of fresh strawberries. Sixty so grams. Fresh strawberries going in. I washed my hands. Did you wash your hands? No. Oh dear. That should be enough. Oh, oh. I missed it. Now, now you what? You need 60 mils of fresh lawn. Fresh lawn. Here's a little something I prepared. Oh, it's not here. Oh, it is here. Here's a little something I prepared earlier. Don't knock that over because. That's our only vodka. That is our only vodka. Is no, no, give me on. That won't be 60 um, mils, I don't think. Yeah, it will. Fresh lime. I'm just going to squeeze it in, low. I'm just going to wing it. Yes, please! Oh. Right. Get your glasses up here and then you can pour it in. Margarita ones, eh? Yep. Yes. Oh, not. Not everything for one. Oh, oh! There's didn't, the ice block. I didn't want to hit that ice block at all. I must take this thing back. Come on, it'll keep your drink cold. Cheers. Cheers. That 
that's a good daiquiri, Lev. That is super nice. You're working very hard tonight, Lev. I am indeed, I am indeed. You're doing a great job. Nothing to muck about with the, um, the old fire lighters again. I'm very busy over here. Very busy drinking your daiquiri, are you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> when we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you, um, we're just about to leave James Price Point. Now the tide is all the way in and can you believe it when you have a look, look how high up the water is here. We walked almost, I don't know, 100 meters or so out on those rocks at low tide. So that's how high the water's coming at the moment. I think it does come a little bit higher. So another thing, check the tides when you come to James Price Point. Otherwise, you do have an option to camp up top on, on, on the hill there. But it's time to move on. It's pack up time for me. Sue's just um, still working. I'm going to get, collect the rubbish because there's no bins here. And like, there's no dump point, no bins, no skip bins. So you've got to take your rubbish with you. So we can't really stay out here that long. So it's a pity because it's really beautiful. But you know, it's the same as when we went to Darwin, myself and Sue said. We're um, struggling because like we just don't want to swim because apparently stingers and crocs so anyway here's what it is let's wrap up we've got to climb out here we've got, to, we've got a bit of that hill to climb up up, up there and then we go into our next spot so we're heading back towards Broome. Feels right now but you gotta work real hard I know you want it your guard down and I say see it in your mind trust that have what it takes inside he's come up that hill and turned left and we've um, driven down the road Oof. just over a kilometre that way but the road is washed away so he's reversed the van all the way back and now he's trying to find somewhere to turn it around. So, you reckon you're going to be able to turn it around here? Or do you just want to go down the hill and come back up? <laughs> oh, we're going to have to go. I think the safest thing is we push it back. Go back all the way down the hill, turn around and come back up, yeah? What do you reckon? So look at the damage on the roads from the water, I mean, and that was very similar where we were up top, except there was like no space. So just shows you the situations you can get into. Yes. Off you go. I'll wait for you here, yeah? <laughs> so finally up the hill and in the right direction. Yes. Lesson learned. Lesson learned again. That's okay. We are on our way to Kwong Dong. Kwong Dong. Kwong Dong Beach. Yes. And um, I don't know. I think it's about 10 k's back or maybe a bit further. Maybe 15 actually. K's back along this uh, horrid road. <laughs> Yes, please. We got ourselves a spot here at Kwong Dong. I think that's how you pronounce it. 
Brad and Ali came a bit earlier. They've nabbed us a great spot. Check this out. Here we go, we parked up Brad and Haley, us just over here, and we got access to the beach. Now that tide has gone out some way, and I reckon we're gonna try and walk down to some rock pools and have a bit of a dip. But I'll tell you why, this is a bit a bit how you're going on the ankles. Come around. Someone's dug up some nice holes. Look at Sue. Hang on. Woo! What are you doing? Seat, lad. Have a little chill out, enjoying the view. You haven't come far, you've only just <laughs> come down there. Well, it was a goat track. Alright, oh, go on, mate. Bob's on his lead. Let's go. We've got a bit of walking to do, I reckon, to get to a rock pool. Oh, what's this right here? Oh, no, that's a bit shallow. How good is it, though, but Oh, she is. She's a bit. Look at this. Oh, someone's actually made some steps here. Look at this. Oh yeah, it's good under the foot. There we go. Rock, you found yourself a rock pool. Well, it's not a pool, it's a paddle. It's a but paddle. it'll do. It's a paddle, it'll do. It'll I'm do. in waist uh, deep if I'm sitting down. I can't even jump in here, I can't even do a dive or anything. There's some bigger ones back over there, but we didn't bring our thongs with, so. We don't think it gets any deeper. At least over here we can um, paddle. At least wet our bottoms. Alright guys, we're back from an awesome walk on the beach. I've got to say, we're not, myself and Sue are not really like people to take a walk, but like I said in the, I don't know if it was last week, I get a bit kind of lost, but why don't you actually get going? That was bloody great, check this out. So we walked from over there, all the way down around, and we've come back and look at this. What do you say, dear? Hey? Uh -huh. What do you say? Epic spot, it's a really nice spot. Look at the point. I haven't showed them the point yet. Hey? It's such a good campsite. Swing around. Really, really good. Look at that. I think yeah. the actual spot we got is really good. I think, I think it that's is. That's what eh? makes it because you got the trees, the campfire. Well, I think it is. We picked a couple of. There's a couple there of loose. Catches up in the trees? Yeah, a couple of. This, and there's been someone very arty that stayed here because look, there's dream catches in the tree. So look, it's not my thing, but I think it's cool. I'm not going to... There are loads of them. Loads of them. Check it out. There's a little bird box up there. Brad and Alia had the bloody... Um, what do you call this thing? Hammock. Hammock. Love out. And... Um, oh, look at this. There's a bird box. A, where's the bird box? Right, look, right good morning. Oh! Hello! Right. Check the view from the... Um, hammock. How good is that? But anyway... Brad's... Um, hey, Derek. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's, he's throwing me a middle. <coughs> but um, <laughs> Brad had some wood in the back of his, the back of his um, ute. We're gonna light a little fire. Why not? How's that for a view? It was always on fire. Our house, our dreams. We were dancing on a wire, red clothes. We found holes in these walls We like what we saw Seems so strong until it falls 
Guys, honestly, drop a comment in below if you can agree with me. Watching a fire and a sunset is absolutely fantastic and also relaxing. Mate, it is sensational and it makes these things go down like Ooh, water. But how good, eh? Like this, hot day, humidity, how beer good. just goes down like water. That's the go. Alright guys, what an epic evening last night was catching up with Brad and Hayley, but woke up this morning and the wind has picked up. Uh, I don't know if you know if you could hear that through the microphone, most probably could, but still got blue skies, but anyway, we were supposed to leave today anyway, so we're shooting back into Broome for another couple nights, but because there's a place called Coconut Wells. Now, you've got to get it on a right tide, and apparently tomorrow the tide is right to go and see this coconut wells where you got nine meter tide so when it's low tide it pulls all the water out the creek and then you can actually basically walk in the creek all the way to the end and then when the tide starts pushing apparently you can sort of float on some device or something and up the creek which sounds pretty cool there's also some rock pools that form at low tide so we're looking super excited about that one um, we've seen a lot of it so it's good to go and ex experience it ourselves so we're about an hour and say 20 minutes um, travel back into Broome. We're going to try and find some accommodation and then we got something to share with you um, Later on in this episode so stick around for that, but yeah, let's go. Um, you know just waiting for waiting for Sue I've sort of packed it all up ready to go. Let's jump in. Let's conquer this this road Let's get back to the bitumen. We've got to pump tires up as well and um, let's get back into Broome It's Friday yeah. So Friday on my lunch break, so we're just getting off the bad road. Check it out, mate. Hi! 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 It's a bit noisy! Yeah, finally, the black on the, the back on the black top because Mate, this road is not good and we've been up and down it all um, all week so to be back here it's really good I've done the front one we're gonna do another one two three four five six tires after this and then we're going back in the broom baby back to civilization there's a bit of a scenario going on here we've got like multiple pipes look at this setup Brad what's going on mate you got a lot of pipes. Sir, you would not believe it. I have had a shamozzle. What's I going on? A, I bought a second compressor. Yeah. I bloody took this alligator clips off and put an Anderson plug on. For some reason, the Anderson plug's not working, whether it's too high voltage or something. So now I've got alligator plugs holding the Anderson plugs on the battery just to try and pump it up quick because we've got a little ARV compressor and uh, it gets too oh, hot. Mate. So mm -hmm. I'm in the warts. You know what? Because you're hanging out with just standing it. Now this has happened a long time <laughs> before we met. But, but um, yeah. it's, a, it's a bit of schmozzle, but it's hey, all right, mate. This is a bit of behind the scenes. Now people don't see this. They think I'm clean cut yeah. and polished. Clean cut and polished, but I mean, what's going on here? I've got pipes left, right, and centre. It looks like a bloody brewery. <laughs> if it was, I'd be <laughs> hanging out with you more often. <laughs> <laughs> Suck it on the end of a pipe. Your little thing screaming at me. Yeah. So. I've pumped up all eight tyres and we're still in off-road so it's obviously beeping so quick little five tap on the, the middle button one two three four five hang on one two three four five there you go we're in on we're on in on road mode now so I think while that I forget to press set to stop it beeping and then press five times that's what i keep I do to love a little bit of on-road love all right here we get go get me to that bitumen let's go Woo! well we're not far from broom now when you come off the dirt i think it's about 15 minutes to um come into broom we're gonna go past the dumb point there's a dump point in broom and the bins and the bins Oof. and then i think we're 
We're going to try and get into the um, um, Angling, Angling, what? Anglican. Anglican Church. Sorry. Um, that's where Brad and Haley stayed before. So um, it's a bit more in town than the Broom Gateway. It's just a little bit closer to everything. I think it's going to be better because um, we've got a bit of few things we're going to need to do in Broom. So I think that's the day. One for the rest for the adjusting, one for the tired hands, one for the letdowns, all thanks to the soul town, one for the shadow plans. You know the time has come for breaking some new ground. I'll let you try. All right, guys, so we've we've come in, we've managed to find a spot at the church. Wazoo, well, where are we again? Seven. Adventist Church. What was that? Seventh Day Adventist Church. There you go. You managed to get out of sight. Brad and Haley threw over there. So, what we've heard about this Coconut Wells place. So, we've got a nine meter tide at midday today. So, what we thought we'd do is split this visit over two days, and that's due to the fact that we can't do the low tide and the high tide at the same time in one day because it takes so long for the tides to change. So, we're going to go down now. It's about half past two in the Arvo and the tide's on its way out. And apparently when it goes all the way out, the little rock, rock pools form where we can have a little splashing. And I reckon it's pretty good to see. And then tomorrow we'll go back out to Coconut Wells when it's high tide at midday. And we've got some exciting things that we're going to float down this creek apparently. So let's um, not dribble on too much about it. Let's jump in. Let's go. Right, here we go. Bike just back in the parking, a little bit of a walk. Looks like the water has gone out like we expected. So the creek that we're going to come flap around in tomorrow is almost empty, but it's, it's you can see the signs of water, which is great. It just shows that there's going to be water in there tomorrow. But now apparently, it's supposed to be some rock pools here. Oh, look at this. Check this out. Oh, look here. Here we go. Oh, look here. All right, is that him over there? Yeah. All right. Bobby! Okay guys, I'm not gonna lie to you, this is pretty cool. So, we're just up over there, and I tell you what, it's just like little pools after little pools after little pools. But now we've, because the water since we've been here has come out even more, we literally can lie inside of some of these. And how's that for a sunset? I think that is pretty bloody amazing. Almost like your own nature's infinity pool, is what I'm gonna call it. Look, it's maybe not as deep, but look, it's lie, that sun's gonna set. You have your own cable beach sunset here by yourself, literally. Okay, so we're at Coconut Wells, right? And we think we've just made it in time. So you can see I've got myself a cupcake inflatable. See, what have you got? I got the ice cream, but I can't float on the ice cream because I'm wider than the ice cream. 
bloody pineapples and donuts here. So we've got a bit of Bobby's come along. Apparently allowed dogs here. Anyway. All good? Yeah, just Alright. And we've got about a 20 minute walk. So the the deal here is we've made it before high tide. Now this actually fills up entirely with water. So we've got to kind of hustle along here. So the idea is I hope you can hear the wood because I've got I don't have a dead cat on the uh, GoPro because um well we're in the water and we can't have one so I'll try and hide the wind but the idea is to quickly walk over you jump on your floaties right and as the tide comes in you sort of float back towards back towards the car so you people have uh some people are already gone so a bit puff guys it's um, been about a 20 minute walk so far, but uh, the sand's pretty soft. So it's like legs day at the gym for me. Probably won't walk tomorrow, but this water's starting to come in and it's beautiful. All right, guys, here we are. Now, this GoPro doesn't like it when you put it under water and you talk, so I hope you can hear me. Otherwise, the water is absolutely rushing, but we're almost at the start of it, and I reckon. By the time we start getting sort of down around that way, you know, the, the water's pumping in. Alright, look at Bob. Oh, look. Good job, mate. Look at you go. Wow. It's just what I do when I'm out. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars. I want to drive a faster car. There you go with your lady. Look at him. Oh, I'm going to enjoy the float back. Huh? Hopefully, it's not too fast. <laughs> Just slow enough so you can enjoy yourself. You know what I mean? <laughs> that didn't go to plan, did it? I think this one I'm going to have to sort of hold on like this. All right, here we go. Are we going or not? No. Let's give it a little kick. I sat on my floaty because Lord Bob's on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out, so. So what an amazing experience that was like you cannot come to Broome and not do what we've just done it's good but I'm absolutely starving so we've pre-made some wraps and I'm just gonna heat them up in now frying pan our frying pan yeah quick on the induction cooked up and then we're gonna have a spot of lunch because Fuck, it's that good, like, it's mint. This is what it's all about. 100%, look at this. We're just gonna tan them in here. Look at that. Oh, I knew the starving man eats. Yep, I am absolutely starving. Well, it's a long walk out there, actually. That was actually the killer because the, the, the sand, because the water was in there last night, it's pretty soft. So you, it's, a, it's it's a workout, so. What do you reckon? Go. 30 minutes? Mm. You are there about? Mm. Well, there you go. Wow. Got to learn to eat breakfast, love. Neither of us are very good at that it. That is very good. Shoo! 
What an awesome episode, guys. We have thoroughly enjoyed making this episode. We spent a week from between Willie Creek, Kwandong, and James Price Point and coming back to Broome and experiencing coconut wells. You guys, if you haven't yet and you can plan to be in Broome for that big tide, that is a must do. Myself and Sue thoroughly enjoyed something like that. And I'm pretty, as you can see, Bob also had an absolute epic time. But guys, that's it for this episode. If you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button down below. It really, really helps us. But for myself, Sue and Bobby, guys, until the next episode, you guys take care. See ya.